Greetings from the land of Canada. My name is Matt and welcome to the second tutorial for the Top 10 Traps, which is the NASA program. Uh, I've blown this up by accident so many times I've actually gotten pretty good at rebuilding it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one just on its own. Just I'm just going to walk around at first to give you guys a little bit of an overview of what it looks like because uh, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, just walking around like this, most of you would be able to get the idea. But uh, I'm also going to build it on camera just so you guys get a good step-by-step -step, um, tutorial about how to build it. So first what you got to do is you got to pop down your, um, what are they called? The tripwire hooks as well as some string to uh, get the good base down, I believe. No, it's not far enough. Having, having it be three is pretty good for the string so that it triggers, just like this. Then right in the middle is where you want the hole to be, which you want to dig down pretty far, not too far though. And uh, I forget the perfect, what's the, what's it's two down for that, and then for the string, it's one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six down. Six down is pretty good to put down the string. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And right here is where we're going to put the uh, the trigger to set off the blast. And this is where we're going to put our actual cannon. It's going to be sweet. It's pretty easy to set off. And uh, nothing too complicated on the redstone, which is really nice. Uh, it's just a couple of dispensers. Dispensers, not DOS spencers, come on. And um, you have to put them out, one second, like this. And got to make sure they line up, because uh, I've done it before where I've accidentally put it too far to the left. And it uh, wasn't a good time. <laughs> so, after you have all this down, you can clear out a little bit more and uh, put the redstone all behind it. Because if you have a piece of redstone that uh, gets triggered uh, on top of one of these blocks, it triggers both of the dispensers because it powers this one as well as the block underneath it. So, what happens is when you grab something like this, you put it down, you'll see if I do that, if I put something in here, it'll just pop out. Right? I mean, I'm sure. Okay, hold on. So, how did. One second. Mistakes were made, boys. But not, though. Usually, oh, okay, all right, I had the redstone wrong here. Okay, I just had one row that was going off the whole time. Okay, so this, if you want to set off the bottom row too, you're going to have to add a little bit more redstone, but uh, that's perfectly all right. Yeah. Okay, so put that down. Oh, it's like that. That's how the redstone works. If you put them, if you put it on top of the dispenser, like that. Okay, so I didn't have it wrong. I was right. Okay. Whoops. Yeah. If you have it on top of the dispensers like this, it actually does set off the bottom row. Cool. All right. Well, I guess I just did it wrong in that latest iteration over there. All right. Interesting. So, let's go ahead and put down the tripwire. Um. It's here, right? Yeah. Over there and over there. Come on, bro. Over there. Then we're going to actually have to break all of this stuff and start putting in half slabs so that the uh, string actually still connects. But there is still going to be. Because uh, if you put it, it, it'll disconnect if you do everything, anything other than half slabs. So if you do this. And it's to keep uh, people from like falling down onto the sides here. Okay, uh, let's do a fence and some water. So fence there, water all here. And that pretty much should do it. And then all you gotta do is connect this up, which is right down here. It uh, connects to this, which you can put a second here. Then all over here. And then what happens is when you hit it, it, triggers all of them. 
Pretty sure it triggers all of them. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. That's just the right length. That's like almost it's like that's really close to not being the right length, but it but it is. Okay, cool. So now just cover everything up like so. And you want to make it so that they can't the the redstone doesn't fall. So take a couple of half slabs, whatever half slab you want, and put it on the outsides here so that whoever falls down here isn't going to be able to escape, but also the, um, they won't be able to escape from here. But also the TNT uh, will remain contained in here no matter what you do. So, should work. Should work fine. So that's our, um, that's our, that's our cannon system. Now to get the uh, piston over here to basically stay, you got to make a little contraption over here where you just put something like this. Actually, it's one lower and two pieces, two, one sec, right there and there. And then you put whatever you had right here. Then whenever you set this off, Right there it's gonna push both of them out and then you basically just have a piece of redstone sitting here and it's perfectly fine to just leave it like that and then what you got to do is you got to set it up so that this piece of uh, this um, trip wire goes all the way down into this block which has the piece of redstone on it and what that's gonna do is make it so that when you set it off one second. It closes. And as well, what you got to do is hook it up over here. And you have to make this a little bit delayed. Just a little bit. So that it works like that. I actually think you can make it a bit more than that. No, it has to be like that. Okay, boom. And it's nice and quick, very fast. Then what you gotta do is you gotta figure out a way to lock it. And I have uh, a way that I locked it. I'm gonna have to take a look at it. Um, oh yeah, no, no, I, I kinda know. Okay, so basically, when this gets set off, it gets fed into another little mechanism over here, which is basically a repeater that gets fed into itself. So the way that it does is like this. Okay, so then what happens is when you click it, boom, and it locks. And the way you reset it is you would have a piston over here with a block over it, which was the reset mechanism, which is this. Boom. And you'd have a button on it, which is over here. And you hit the button, and it resets the whole thing. It puts it back. So now, let's cover it up. You can make it all uh, rather hi uh, hidden, a little bit uh, better. Because right now I was just trying to uh, sort of get it done, not making it look too snazzy. But um, basically, just like that. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, you gotta reset it. So you reset it. Oh, hold on. Something funky's going on. Oh yeah, I placed a piece of. Oops. Okay. Accidentally placed something extra. Okay. So then once you get boom, closes, opens up, and then it locks. And when you fall down. Boom, all the TNT goes off. So I'm going to do a quick test run to make sure that the, all the TNT goes off. I'm going to put two in each of them, well, or three, doesn't matter. And I want to make sure that the TNT doesn't blow everything up. That's one thing. Because uh, this, this design is pretty consistent in not having the TNT blow everything up. <laughs> but uh, it does happen on a rare occasion where something misfires, and it's never a fun... It's never a fun time. Well, I mean, sometimes it's fun. It's hilarious to see everything blow up every once in a while. But, you know, the work going into it to fix everything is a little bit annoying. But it's not the biggest deal. So I believe that is going to be enough. Whatever. I missed those two. So when you hit it, click. Everything gets set off. And hopefully it doesn't blow up my entire thing. <gasps> Alright, it works perfectly. Cool. So now, just going to hit the button. Get the reset on it, and click, fall in. Oh no, I'm going to go right into the tree. Oh, and just smack my head. All right, well, 
Uh, this is how to make the NASA space program. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Click back on the annotation if you want to go check out the top 10 again. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Peace.